Good morning and welcome to Shoe Talk. So here we are, the end of April already. Can you guys believe it? I mean, it's May is right around the corner. So a couple fun things today. Obviously, since it's our last um, Shoe Talk in April, there's going to be somebody winning free shoes at the end. Um, and as you can see, there's no Jamie today. And that's okay because we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later, but she is currently traveling to our factories. And what that means is she's finding new colors, new materials, new components to design more shoes. And she's checking on the current status of everything that is being manufactured that will soon be available to you. But exciting news is that I have a friend, a very special guest who is joining us today. Hi guys, <laughs> Christine getting to fill in for Jamie, and I wanted to just steal the show because I think I'm famous, <laughs> but mostly because those of you that know me know I love these shoes so much. Oh my gosh, they're game changers for your attitude and for the way you look and feel in them. I yeah. love these shoes, Lisa, you know that. Well, well you, you do a great job of loving them, and Christine uh, is really a great spokesperson for us because she wears a seven and a half wide, and we're gonna get into that a little later because a lot of people don't know what size they should be wearing or that a different width is an option. Christine is an expert on this now, but we're going to first talk about the shoes that we're wearing today and the others that we're going to show you because we have three different styles on this slightly higher wedge. And I say slightly higher because it's not very high, but I'm going to show you in a second that the pitch makes them feel like you're walking on flats. Am I right? I mean, don't they feel like almost like a flat? Yeah. So don't be dismayed thinking, oh, these are too high for me. Guys, you could do anything in these shoes. They feel solid, you feel stable in them, but they give you a lift and it just makes you feel a little glamorous, a little taller, maybe even a little sexier. They're fine. So you don't feel frumpy, you feel kind of kicky. Uh, even us in our 20s, 30s, <laughs> right. 40s, 50s, these shoes make you feel like trendy and they really are stable. I mean, I would put my mother in them and she's almost 80. There you go. Yeah. Well, we've got three styles, as I said. Um, the first one, and this is what uh, uh, Christine's wearing, and she's wearing in black. This one is called the Tracy, okay? It comes in four colors. We've also got what I'm wearing, which is the Thea. Love, cute little buckle. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Tatum, which is another slide, cute little crisscross on the, uh, the leather there. So. Three styles. Again, we're starting off with Tracy, which Christine is wearing. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this because each one of these shoes, each three styles has the same features. So while Tracy is completely adjustable, which is a huge, huge selling point, all three of these straps completely adjust. Super, super. So Guys, like, it's Velcro. So you're not, you're not like spending a, an hour down at your shoe trying to get anything. You literally can just simply make an adjustment. Like let's say you've been walking around all day drinking at a winery and your feet are getting a little more swollen. You can literally expand the straps in no time. Nobody even sees it and you're more comfortable. She is so right. And I can, I can attest to this because I wore these in New Orleans last year for all day on a Sunday. We went on a brunch cruise and then we walked around. They have our tiny pillows in them, if you can see right there. All these tiny pillows. This is a microfiber suede sock. So that means that your feet, if they are sweating, this is going to moisture with them away. So the sweat isn't going to be at the bottoms of your feet and you know on your shoes. And everybody knows how that feels, and it doesn't feel good. So Tracy is this first shoe, and Christine is showing us right now how she styled it very casually and very cutely. So guys, my thought was, okay, right, I wanted to be like, let's say I was going to go into a school meeting, like I'm going to go visit the school. So I wore a little jean jacket, but I put these shoes on because if I go with flats, we all know that sometimes when you put flats on, you just feel, I hate to use that word, but frumpy, but you do feel a little frumpy. So you say, how can I change that a little bit? How can I show up with a little bit more like, you know, joy and sun? So I put on a little heel, right? And then look. Now I'm meeting a girlfriend for lunch. So I've still got the same fabulous shoe on and my little kicky, kicky shoes, feeling good, having lunch, maybe having a margarita at lunch. But these shoes are so versatile and so comfortable and I can wear them all day long. Perfect. Well, I wore mine with a, um, this is my work outfit. I think it's kind of fun. I enjoy wearing color in the spring and it's almost springtime. 
These are a gold, and this is the, again, it's the Thea, so it's got a, a nice little buckle here that's adjustable. It is a slide, and it comes in several colors. Oh, I'm wearing the gold. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was going to talk about your silver. I love the way you took your jewelry, yeah. and you had the gold and mm -hmm. the silver jewelry, and then that brings that shoes into it. She right. is so... I so metal it, so you, yeah. if you can see, these are silver snaps, and my shoes are gold, and my earrings are both. Mm -hmm. But if I want to snazz this up a little bit, I got a trick okay. I want to show you. I'll wait till you see what she's about to do. So this is magic. Many, how many of you have some of these big scars, and you wrap them around? You know, you can sometimes wonder, like, what do I do with it? Well, look at this instant infinity scarf. You take the top edge of the scarf, you take the bottom edge of the other side, okay? Then you bring them together. You just simply tie it in a little tiny knot, all right? Then, voila, you got yourself an infinity scarf here. Nice and colorful. Take it, wrap it, put it around your head, wrap it again, fluff it up so you can see all the pretty colors that coordinate with my outfit. Okay. And then, there you go. I've just spruced up my outfit a little bit. Easy peasy. So. Extra bonus today. Learn how to tie a scarf a different way that you may not. If you also have ways to tie scarves, why don't you let us know? Because I know I've got a closet full of scarves. I'm always looking for ways to... We, we buy these scarves like we're on vacation somewhere. We're like, oh, I'll get a scarf. And then you go home and you're like, in real life, I never wear a scarf. <laughs> so now you can wear a scarf. <laughs> I'm going to go put on... I, outfit number two. Yeah, I want to show you guys. Okay, so this is the other great thing about this shoe. Yes, it works for just daytime. It works for work. It works for whatever. But now I'm going to put on a dress. I want you to see how easy this will be to wear to dress up. And believe it or not, I'm going to wear them to a wedding this weekend. And so the other thing I love about these tiny pockets is I can dance in these shoes all night. We all have done this. We put on shoes and they feel wrong from the beginning. And we're like, I'm going to, I'm going to suck it up today because I want to look good. And by noon, we're crabby. And we're not friendly. And we're like, why am I wearing these shoes? And so then we're slipping. The All right, I'm going to go change. Go. <laughs> so while Christine is changing, this is the part where I told you I was going to do something a little special today. Jamie is gone. So we're going to sneak into her studio. And you guys are going to get a little bit of a um, peek into what makes the magic happen here. So we're walking through my office. And now we're getting to Jamie's. So watch this. I'm going to flip this. Hopefully I flip it successfully. I did. So now we are in the place where it all happens. This is Jamie's chair currently vacated because she is visiting factories. But I want you guys to see, this isn't just something that gets picked out of a catalog. Jamie has all these different materials that she's constantly looking at and going through and picking colors and picking different options for materials, so many of them. And then she also does everything from a sketch. So her walls are kind of bare right now because she took a whole bunch of sketches with her to the factory to make sure that things are turning out the way that she's expecting them. But I do wanna show you a couple of really interesting things. So we've got some fan favorite shoes that go year after year, season after season. She comes up with new colorways for them, different fabrics, different materials that are trending, but then she also comes up with new stuff. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek to one of my favorite things that's coming out next spring. Aren't those freaking amazing? Y'all can get excited now because they are gonna be coming. She's also coming out with some little knit flats, fun colors, material ways, and then here's some other athletic stuff that she's doing. And again, she'll go through and pick colors from this beautiful color Bible that shows every color. So she picks out colors for things. It's, it's a process, you guys. It's really a spectacular process. I feel very, very fortunate that I work next to her and I get to watch this on a daily basis. And I am excited for her to get back because she's been gone for about two weeks and offices look quiet without her, but it's not quiet today because we have Christine here, which I'm thrilled. So now I'm gonna put y'all back here Probably and Christine is gonna come back and show us okay. how she instantly dressed up her Tracy's. Now, so look what I did. I took, I threw on a dress, literally, and those of you that know me know I just threw this dress on. Um, but these shoes look so good with this. So this is, 
This can be, you could dress this down and you could do a casual dress, or this is a little bit fancier. This is what I'm thinking I'm gonna wear. I might put my hair up, but these shoes still look so amazing. And my point earlier to you guys was like, you know how you're standing there and your feet are starting to get a little sore because you've been dancing for a long time. Okay, or a lot of us aren't dancing during the day, but whatever. You put those shoes on in the morning, they start to bother your feet, you start to get a little irritated. That's not gonna happen in these shoes. You're walking on tiny pillows all day long. Let me, let me, I think she showed you this. Look at this, little pillows. And so look what happens. If you need to adjust a little bit, you just simply pull that. I mean, these are so user-friendly. And the heel, you looks like you're wearing kind of a substantial wedge. But in, in essence, guys, they're so stable. And the way your foot fits right down in there, you're not sliding around. You don't feel unsafe in them at all. So I was able to dress the, the sandal up, Tracy up with a dress, and now I'm ready to go. I could go out for dinner, I could do whatever, and all I did was quick outfit change. So the shoes, they're magic, they're game changers, they're attitude changers, and they make you show up in a way you feel very goddess-like. Okay, now, oh, my Lisa's gonna come out. So she was at work, remember she had her work clothes on, taught us how to make the great magic scarf. Now she's getting ready to go. I don't know, maybe she's gonna go. Where do you think you could go on that? You're so cute. She's brunch. really cute. I'm going to brunch. She might go to brunch or she might be meeting a friend for drinks after yeah. work. Although, okay. how many of us really get to do that? Right. Anyway, come and show us this up. This is so cute. So I'm back and I'm wearing just a cute little pair of casual dressy shorts. Can go either way. Paired it with a little fluffy uh, ruffled top. I still have on the Thea's in gold. There's some gold buttons here on my shorts, and I still have on the um, gold and silver earrings. So really just with a very quick change, I am wearing the same shoes that I wore to work with my magenta um, suit, which by the way, I wanted to mention, if you guys watched a couple of weeks ago when I was at Millennium in um, Effingham when they did a trunk show for us, that suit was on the hanger calling my name. So I bought it, it's mine, I love it, and it's one of my new favorite work outfits, but if I'm going to leave work and go out, or if I'm gonna go out on the weekend for brunch with some friends or with my husband, this is an outfit that's just really very, very comfy. And if we wanna you know, bar hop a little bit or head out to a winery, I've got the right shoes on. As Christine said, my feet are gonna feel great all day. Those little tiny pillows are the bomb. If you know this, you know this. If you don't know this, you wanna know this. So Christine and I today, Tracy, Thea, and then the other one that we, don't, neither one of us are wearing, this one is the table. Oh my gosh. Okay, but like very Picture cute. that with a little flare jean. Okay. And you know, we keep talking about wineries and going, a lot of us don't have that life. We know that. But when you put clothes on and shoes on like this, you do feel a little more motivated, I think, to be social, to be friendly, to maybe stop in that little shop. That's the great thing about great footwear. It changes the way you feel when you show up in the world. Suddenly you're like, wow, I'm powerful. I'm kind of... Uh, well, wouldn't it be in spring? I mean, spring is starting to happen yes. around the country. Yes. And I don't know about you, but that just makes me want to go outside. Yes. Makes and me yeah, doing pop, things and... Out and about, mm -hmm. visiting your neighbors, walking around your city streets. Yeah. And wear shoes that make you feel fabulous and that are really, really comfortable. So somebody is going to...